Do you know your language of love? Is there a special way that you like to be treated in a relationship? Does your intimate partner know how to turn you on? Does he or she know which buttons to push in order to get you in the mood? Take a moment to ponder these questions. I'll pause. I'll wait. As you do so, please hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification symbol because I am likely to post a video early in the morning or late at night. Okay, your time is up. Do you have an answer for me? If you do, please leave a comment below. And at the end of this video, I'll share with you my love language. It might surprise you. It might even shock you. Let's wait and see. As a romance writer, you will want to know the language of love. These five languages can be found in a book written by Gary Chapman. He speaks about the love languages in the context of marriage and offers ways of surviving the marriage after the honeymoon stage of the relationship fades. The five languages of love that he states in his book are words of affirmation, quality time, gift giving, acts of service, and physical touch. I think I like the last one a lot. Words of affirmation can be words of encouragement, words of kindness. Some people respond best when complimented, while others may value quality time together. A quiet moment with a partner that isn't interrupted by a phone call or a sudden text. Do you like receiving gifts? Does this excite you? I know it does me. Is this your language of love? Knowing that someone took the time to pick out a special gift just for you, that can be heartwarming. I recently realized that acts of service is my love language. I enjoy having things done for me, like cooking me a surprise dinner or buying me a slice of chocolate chocolate cake. I love desserts, you know. I also know that I love doing things for others. I love committing acts of service for those that I care about. This might stem from my childhood. My aunt was always doing for the family. She was always ironing our clothes or cooking us dinner. Uh, so that was her love language. And I guess I picked it up. These five love languages are amazing. I also know that I love giving hugs. The last language of love is physical touch. That can range from a chase kiss to a full-on sexual encounter of the most delicious kind. Tell me what you think. These five love languages can be incorporated in your romance writing. As a novelist, you may want to take advantage of this. Figure out the love language of your hero and your heroine. This can be the cause of great tension in the relationship, or it can be fun.